Let's ultrasound. Welcome to the Ultrasound Nobology Gallery. Today's topic, the dynamic range control. Let's discuss the dynamic range control on an ultrasound machine. The dynamic range control is a contrast control on an ultrasound machine, and it's also called compression. On some ultrasound machines, the name of this control can change from when the image is live, when it's called dynamic range, to when it's frozen, when it turns into the name compression. This ultrasound control increases or decreases the number of shades of gray that are displayed by the machine, and this is measured in decibels. A broad or a wide range, which would be a high dynamic range level, displays less black and white shades on the ultrasound image and more shades of gray. This gives you a smoother image overall with less contrast. A small or narrow range, which would be a low dynamic range number, displays less shades of gray and more black and white shades. This would give you a higher contrast image. And often this control is tied to the gray maps control on an ultrasound machine, meaning that when you adjust one control, it can affect the other. Now a few words about using the dynamic range control. A dynamic range control is very useful for removing echoes from areas. So when performing vascular, this is a great control to help get rid of some of the echoes that are within vessels. However, when performing types of ultrasound like breast ultrasound, you don't want an image with too much contrast or it can remove echoes from pathology such as complicated cysts and make them appear like they're simple when they really have internal echoes. Also, when the dynamic range is set too high and there's too many shades of gray in the image, it can be really hard to spot masses within the tissue, especially isoechoic masses. Mm -hmm.